Hi there, I'm Miss Anna and this is Healthier Choice. You asked and I am here to deliver. Today we are Tropical Smoothie Cafe. Let's go inside. All right, so first things first, the first thing we do is what? We get the nutritional fact sheet. And so they only have one and it is huge and has to be returned to them because they only had it. So this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna read through this big humongous thing and, and get back with you. Okay, so I'm back and I am here to tell you that needless to say, I have looked at this menu and the nutritional fact sheet and I am highly, highly disappointed because this is supposed to be a place that is considered healthy. And it truly is not. It is not healthy at all. I wouldn't eat here if you paid me. Sorry to say, and I used to eat here, but I'm not going to eat here. I'm allowing my children to eat here and my aunt's gonna eat here. But as for Miss Anna, she will not be eating here. The sodium content in the food is extremely high. They do have some things that you can get that have uh, less sugar, but the sodium is just off the charts. And if you are somebody that's doing keto and you're watching your carbs, it is off the chain. So yeah, I won't be eating here, but I will record, I will let you know what they get. I'll be back. Okay, and so I'm back. And there was a question that was asked um, when, um, I was requested to come to Tropical Smoothie Cafe. The question was, they wanted to know how much fruit are they really using? And I can tell you that they are using a, a nice amount of fruit. It's, it's not what I would do if I was at home. Like they put a lot of ice in it, more than the fruit. So to me, it's, it's watered down. Um, but that's because of the ice they put in it. They also put a sweetener in it, some sugar and stuff to make it taste better. So you have sugar in it, which I, if I was at home, I would not put sugar in it. I would let the sweet, the sugar uh, from the fruit be its own sweet. I mean, uh, my kids got something called a Berry Bliss and it had strawberry, blueberry, and banana. And I think that that would be enough, if not for all the ice. They put like, I don't know, maybe a cup of ice or more in there. And so you would need something because it would taste awful. You wouldn't be able to taste it with all that ice in there. So, um, yeah. <laughs> but I'll let you talk, I'll let you see what the kids got. All right, Joanna, share with them. What did you get? I got a blueberry with no banana, just blueberries and strawberries. A grilled cheese with nothing but bread and cheese. And why did you do that? Because I don't like anything else. And what did you think about the nutritional fact sheet? Uh, there's a lot of sodium. <laughs> yeah. So that was your healthier choice. Okay. How about you, sir? What did you get? I got classic grilled cheese and a blueberry bliss, no bananas, and bacon, and a grilled yeah. You wouldn't need it in the future? No. No. Okay. Uh, Sheila, can you tell people what you got? I have a blueberry juice with banana, blueberries, and strawberries, and I really can't taste it. You can't taste it? I taste a little bit of hint of banana and blueberries. It's because of the, uh, is it because of the ice? You think? Yeah. I thought so. So, uh, you guys haven't eaten yet though, so um, I'll have to come back. They haven't gotten their food back, but yeah, that's what I thought. It's too much ice in those drinks. You can't even taste it. So, we'll check back and see how their food is to them that they got. They chose their food for um, less sodium because there was a lot of sodium. One of the items had over 2,000 milligrams of sodium. And that's a big disappointment to me as someone who's eating healthy. 
um, you know, you come to Tropical Cafe or you choose some place that you think is healthy, they serve uh, fruits and vegetables, and then you find out that it is not so healthy and it is loaded with things that are not good for you. Um, even at the front, you know, even though you have, it's Tropical Smoothie Cafe and they have all these fruits and vegetables, at the front of the of the cash register, there's cookies and there's potato chips, and we know those things are not healthy. So it just left, left a bad taste in my mouth, and yeah, we won't be back. But I will share with you their their food choices. We'll see how they taste it to them. Be back. All right, Joanna, take a bite of your food and tell me, is it all right? Is it salty? What does it taste like to you? bit sweet. Sweet. Now isn't that interesting? Seeing as how it's grilled cheese in a sandwich, it shouldn't taste sweet. I think milk is sweet too. Is there is there milk on your oh well you have cheese, huh? I think milk is sweet. I wonder if they I wonder if it's uh, some kind of sweetener in there too. Okay. Jeff Diet, how you doing? <laughs> I can see she's saying. Huh? I can see she's saying, but I can also um have a little salty taste. Yeah. You have what? I can I can feel a little salty taste to it, you and it's feel? also sweet. Um, and of course, it probably has sugar in it. Cheese already has sugar in it, and um. Well, does it taste like a grilled cheese sandwich that you would eat at home? No. No? <laughs> and my mom said... This Can you is, talk up a little bit? Like my mom said, this is poison to your body. And that you would not want to eat this if you want to eat it fit for God's use. That's true. All right. Thank you, Jedediah. you All right, and Sheila, it's your turn. Take a bite. Tell us all about it. <laughs> and Sheila said hers is not salty, but I've had that before and it is pretty salty. Matter of fact, that particular dish, she has the hummus veggie wrap. It has about 1,480 milligrams of sodium. So, <laughs> so I would say to you guys, uh, if you come to Tropical Smoothie Cafe, just or anywhere else, any anytime you go out to eat, just make sure you get the nutritional fact sheet. Make a healthier choice. And even if that means you gotta walk out because it's just some things there that you shouldn't be partaking of, don't be afraid to walk out. Don't be afraid to push that away and not eat it. Don't be afraid to make food at home. It is okay. You can eat your food at home. It is better for you. It will definitely have less of the, the bad stuff because you know exactly what you're putting in your food. The bottom line is we want to have fit bodies and we want to be uh, fit for the Lord's use. We want to be fit for the Lord's use, you know? So eat at home if you can. Eat at home. That's the healthiest choice. Let me know where you want me to go next. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.